Magic, everybody knows that you're from East Lansing, one of 10 children. Both your parents worked. What were the early years like? Did, did that work ethic come down to you and your siblings? Well, it definitely did. You know, uh, my, my father worked two jobs his whole life. One was uh, at a GM plant? Yes, GM plant for 30 years, right. and then he had a trash hauling service. Mm -hmm. So he had, we had, he had his own truck, and we would go door to door, pick up people's trash. And it was one uh, situation where uh, it was probably seven below zero and very cold Saturday morning. And uh, my job was to pick up all the loose trash. And so we, we, it was so cold that I got everything that I could just grab, throw it on the truck, and I ran to the, to the truck because it was just cold to jump in. By the time I got in and the door shut, my father opened it back up grabbed me and dragged me through the snow back to the barrels to say, son, you did a halfway job. And if you do this job in a halfway manner, you're going to be a halfway basketball player. You put in half the time. You only put in half the time as a student. And he said, uh, you're supposed to do this job right, so I want you to go get that shovel, and I want you to chop the ice until you can get all the trash that's trapped in the ice and put it on the truck. And that's, that's what happened. And so he taught me how to be a perfectionist and do everything the so right So those way. are very important lessons. And yeah. then your mother was a school custodian. custodian right. And she had a saying that God gave you one mouth but two ears. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, what, what lesson was your mother trying to tell you? Well, my mother, I, I tell you, first of all, she rubbed off on us so much because here's a woman that worked all day. Then she had to come and care for all the kids. And there were 10 of you. And there's 10 of us. So when you think about six girls. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get the picture. Yes. And so I got this from my mother, though, <clears throat> John, and this was the, the key. Uh, I got her smile and giving back to the world. That's what I took from my mother. And that's why I try to help everybody. And that's why I have this smile that I have because of her. Was one of your favorite college games where you defeated Larry Bird in, yeah, in, yeah. in the NCAA mm -hmm. finals? Oh, yeah. Uh, when we played them in, in uh, 1979, they were undefeated, 33-0. and 0, mm -hmm. And uh, we said, wow, this guy can really, really play in Larry Bird. And we, how can we contain him? Because he makes everybody on his team better. And so we decided to put two men on him, and it worked out great for us, and we ended up winning the championship. And uh, who would have ever thought that we would get a chance to change the NBA? Well, the, 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 the relationship between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson is legendary. Yes. For years, during yes. both of your careers. Well, because we came in at the same time. We didn't care about how many points we scored. We just cared about winning. We both had a, a, a knack for making our teammates better, and we loved the big moment and trying to uh, excel uh, when the pressure was on. And I tell you, Larry Bird is still the greatest I've ever played against. He was so super smart, and so his will to win was off the charts. And uh, so we, we kind of just grew up together. And, uh, and then he ends up in Boston which the Lakers, we hate Boston, and Boston hate the Lakers. And I end up in L.A., and, I mean, it was on from there, and it was just great drama, great games, and uh, it lived up to all the hype, uh, the Celtics versus the Lakers, and it, it was great. And now we're great friends. So rookie year, the Lakers go on to win a championship. What did you make the first year, $25 million? Uh, I wish. <laughs> My first year, I made 400000 Oh, 400000 okay. But once we won, okay. he tore up the contract and wanted to uh, give me $25 million. That's, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad from a, a poor kid from uh, Lansing, Michigan, and uh, uh, never had uh, probably more than a dollar in his pocket at any one time. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page, and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.